Hello Virgo. So let's go ahead and get started. I have prayed over the cards, shuffled them. I'm going to pull three from Doreen Virtue's Archangel Power Tarot deck. One from John Holland's Psychic Tarot for the Heart. Go ahead and move these up. And I'm pull two from Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels deck. Okay. So the first card we have is Ten of Raphael. And if you read the bottom of it, it says, Love and blessings fill your life. Harmonious relationships with family members happily ever after. And if you look, you'll see a rainbow and, and the medical insignia, um, as well as a couple embracing, having a private intimate moment, and a couple frolicking in the, in the back left side of the card. And what I'm getting from this is you've had a very turbulent time with your partner, maybe a number of months of arguments, not agreeing, and you're finally going to get to the place where that spark is back, where your commitment's back, where your joy is back, where you're just really ignited as lovers set aflame again. And it's almost as though you're, you're, you're thinking it's too good to be true. You're waiting for, you know, the next shoe to drop, waiting for something else bad to happen. But what they want you to know is, you know, you're really at a place of peace and happiness now. Enjoy it. Let go of those worries and concerns so you don't bring anything back into the relationship. Because you really are at a harmonious, happy time with your partner now. And enjoy it. And, and continue to invest that time and that bliss and that happiness with your partner and, and you'll continue to have that because it really is here. You finally, after all the work and the disagreements and, and, the, and the struggles that you've had, you finally have arrived at that place of happiness, bliss, joy. Enjoy it because it's not going anywhere and you don't need to worry about that. Eight of Michael. If you can read the bottom of it, it says, you can be free. Make a cour courageous choice to change your situation not seeing things clearly. I'm getting for a number of you, you're in a relationship where you're really just, you're, you're feeling trapped. You're not happy and it's almost like the emotions have gotten you so confused. You don't even know what to do. You don't know how to move forward. You don't know what your next step is to take, but, but you're definitely not happy. And I get for a lot of you, you just want to be free of the relationship. You want to be done. So what they want you to know is that, you know, you can completely in a moment's notice, change your perspective and free yourself from that relationship where you're not happy. You can completely leave the relationship. You can go get some counseling. Um, you can try to improve it, but you don't need to continue sitting stuck in it in a place of you know unhappiness because you deserve happiness and, and they're there to help you get there. You just need to ask for their help and take those steps forward because I get that you're just, you're, you're keeping yourself stuck because of your perspective. So change your perspective, trust, have faith. And if, you, if you've done everything you can, and it's just not working, it, it's safe and okay for you to walk away from the relationship. It's not meant for you. And if not, then you know, listen to those steps and those intuitive nudges to go and, and try to work things out. But don't let yourself continue to sit and be stuck. That's not serving you or them. And it's only, it's only delaying your happiness. Next card we have is Three of Ariel. Do what you love, a time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors, working with others in a cooperative manner. So what I'm getting with this is there's a number of you, things are just gonna be ramping up at work. You're not going to have time for romance, not any time for love. So what they're encouraging you to do is for those of you that are in a relationship, so it doesn't cause any turmoil or any permanently damaging conflicts, arguments with your partner is you know, to to make it, have those communications with your partner to let them know that you do love them, you do care for them, to make them feel special, let them know that this is out of your control because I, I get, it's almost as though you're, you've started a new job and you're overwhelmed at the new job. You've started your own business venture and it, you're just having to give it your all to get it up and going. Or you, or you work at a company where there's some new project, new program, new uh, item that they're rolling out and it just requires to step up the plate and you know put in a bit of overtime for the next month. So I get that you're just gonna be completely focused on work. And for those of you that are single, that's okay. For those of you that are in a partnership though, just make sure your, your significant 
other knows that and understands that so that doesn't cause you any complications. And, and I do get that if you have the open communications with them that they'll understand but you will need to have those you know conversations with them so that they don't think you've just closed up and that there's something you know you don't want them thinking that you're upset with them so have those conversations all be well you'll be able to focus on work next card is giving and receiving so what i'm getting is for a number of you you're off balance with your partner yes in a perfect world relationships are 50 50 but we all know that they're not there's going to be times that you're going to give more than your partner and there are going to be times that your partner is going to give more than you but what i get is that you have been at one end of the spectrum for far too long and it's causing a number of conflicts for a number of you i get that you have been giving way too much and since your partner is not returning that you're feeling underappreciated you don't feel that they value you so what they what they're encouraging is to rebalance that and for those of you that are receiving more than you're giving same thing so you're making your partner feel unappreciated so in order to keep the relationship and not cause permanent damage and to jeopardize it they're encouraging you to get back to a balance of giving and receiving and for those of you that are like when you look at this you'll see the blue kind of stands out so for those of you that are giving too much you i'm getting are going to have to initiate that conversation with your partner to let them know how, you, how you're not feeling appreciated, how you feel that you're giving and not receiving, and that you can ask for their help on having that conversation. Uh, because it's, you know, most people that are givers are natural givers in their nature. I get that it's going to be a difficult conversation for you, but I get if you ask for help, ask your angels for help, they will help you with that conversation and there will be a positive outcome in it. And then the yellow stands out for those of you that have been just receiving things left and right and just loving having this person do it on you and give you things and just take care of everything for you it's time for you to give back to them so luckily for you it doesn't it doesn't really need a conversation just for you to start taking care of them helping them giving them and um you're going to notice that they're feeling underappreciated and not valued it's going to turn around and you're going to notice that's going to transform your relationship so next card we have is children your love life is being affected by children so what I'm getting is for some of you they're encouraging you to be playful and have fun like uh, like a child with your partner for those of you that are single I get that you know you're so focused and worried about finding someone that you're just not enjoying you and having fun with you don't worry and stress and be planning your life about fi all around finding that partner just go and have fun and for those of you in a relationship you know go and have fun together that'll put that spark back in it um just the playfulness with each other is you know it brings in you know romance and and really you know sets the relationship on fire so go and just have fun with each other and what i'm getting for a small number of you is this is talking about how you've been trying to have a relationship i mean how you've been trying to have a child you're in a very happy relationship and your relationship has been very happy and blessed and very harmonious and loving for a very long time but you've been trying to conceive a child and it's not going as planned and not been successful yet and what I'm getting is you're so focused and stressed and worried about not being able to have a child and grow the family that you've desired your whole life that you're starting to block yourself and for some of you you're even starting to have arguments with your spouse about it so what i'm getting is this is twofold for you i'm getting that if you can go and just stop worrying and thinking about that for a little while i know it, it doesn't sound easy when that's something you really desire and want but if you can stop thinking about that and just go and and truly enjoy your, your spouse your lover just go and have fun and play together bring that spark back in removing that tension that you've been having over you know not having and starting the family that you desire but if you can just go play and have fun and forget about that i'm getting that that would that would remove the blocks 
and could ultimately end up leading to you conceiving the child that you desire. Because, you know, oftentimes when we really want something so badly and we keep thinking about, oh, I want it, I want this, you know, person, and, you know, in your case, want to have a baby. But we'll say for somebody that's looking for a relationship, you know, I really want this, you know, partner. I really want to meet him. I really want to meet her. And, and that's all they ever think about. What they're coming from is a place of lack. So they're actually, you know, energetically pushing that away from themselves. But those same people you'll notice that when they stop and they're just they're kind of like okay whatever I give up it's just oh, I'm just must meant, meant to be single and then they stop thinking about finding a partner and they just truly start enjoying life and enjoying themselves and they don't ever think about it anymore and that's when their soulmate walks into their life and getting us a similar thing for you that you need to let it go let it go let God have fun enjoy your spouse and I'm getting for some of you that that's, that's what's going to open up the blessing. It's what's going to bring you that child you desire. And ask the angels for help because I'm getting in, in, that it's not an easy thing to do. But they can help you do that. So just ask for their help and they will. Next thing we've got is keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type in expectations. So I'm getting for some of you that are single. You have met the one. And not just the one, but a soulmate. And... But it's like you're blocking that person because they're not your normal type. So, you know, maybe you like normally blonde females and, and she's a brunette and you normally like, you know, blondes that are really tall and maybe she's just five feet, two inches and a brunette. So you're just totally not looking at her as an option. Yeah, you kind of feel some connection, but you actually kind of keep per purposefully turning away from it. And, and hoping that that's not really what you're feeling because she is totally not your type. But what they're getting, what I'm getting is if you open up to that and you let go of these expectations that you have and you just really open yourself up to it, you're going to find that, that that person is perfect for you. And your expectations, the vision that you had in your mind, um, because I do get that's just surface things. And, and meaning that, you know, if you put together your list and you said, you know, I, I want someone that's financially stable. I want someone that's caring. I want someone that's loving. I want someone that, you know, wants to have a family. I, you know, desire someone that lives in the same city. I want someone that, you know, enjoys spending time with their family. And then you also put this list of, oh, and I want her to be, you know, five feet, nine inches and blonde hair and blue eyes. Well, what I'm getting is take away those, you know, look, the, their looks. When it gets to the actual core depth of what you're looking for in a relationship, that person is that and so much more. And you'll realize it and you'll realize how perfect they are for you as soon as you let go of those expectations and, and let go of that block because you're just, you're blocking yourself from love. And for some of you, I get that that's really hurting that person because that, that potential love injures that potential partner, that person who is your soulmate really does feel the connection with you and, and really does love and care for you. But you keep pushing them away because they're not this vision of what you think your partner is going to be. And, and, that's, and that's really hurting them deeply. And what I'm getting is if you can't let go of those expectations in the near future, you, you could very well permanently ruin your opportunity with that person. So just let go of expectations and just see how things go. Because I get that, you know, for those of you that this is a message, you knew right away it was you. You knew who that person was. So just trust. Just trust. Just see how it goes. And you'll probably be blown away. Because I get the person is like everything you've wanted and so much more. So just try it out. See how it goes. Because I got a feeling it's going to go amazing. So... Thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. Thank you for all of your comments. I love your comments. I love your feedback. Um, keep it coming. I appreciate it. Filled with a lot of love, joy, and blessings.